Welcome to the wedding of Mr. Ben Peel and Mrs. Katie Peel. Today reminds me of one of my favourite films, As Good As It Gets. Because for me, this is as good as it gets. A few months ago, Katie asked me if I would walk her down the aisle at her wedding to Ben. I replied that I would, but seeing as this may be my last wedding speech, could I say a few words of my own? And Katie being Katie said, you can say what you like. I remember thinking after, who the hell else is going to walk Katie down the aisle? <laughs> because if I'm not doing it, I'm not going. Katie told me that she had a new man in her life. And I asked, what is he like and where is he from? Katie said he was a guy from her past, but he had been away on his cruise liners. We soon got to know Ben, and he fitted into our family easily. Ben has no side. He's what is known in the trade as a good guy. He's always willing to join in, and he's great company. <laughs> and a very confident guy. I know Ben is confident because he asked me if he could have Katie's hand in marriage. I was extremely pleased and I said, of course. Then replied, good, because I've already got the engagement ring. <laughs> My name's Katie Peel. Uh, I'm from York, where the chocolate's chunky and the men are hunky. <laughs> So anyway, I will uh, be sensible now. Benny boy, my blue-eyed boy, <laughs> who looks like Jude Law. <laughs> he does, he does. So I first met Ben a long time ago in the feathers. Now I don't want to, Ben might say this, so I'm, not, I'm going to keep it uh, short, but I, we were in uh, Pocklington and nothing happens in Pocklington. And I suddenly thought, who the hell is that boy? He's so good looking. And then my phone beeped and it was that boy. He was so good looking. And it was Ben. I couldn't believe it. So we hung around for a bit, didn't we? And then you went back on the cruise ships very swiftly, because I was slightly wild. And then we went off and did our own thing and then got back together four years ago. So it's a real love story, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together facing the world, but at the same time, it's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of shared joy. Who brings Katie to be married to Ben today? I do. Thank you. Would you like to? <laughs> Hi. It's Chris. Lovely. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Benjamin John Peel, to witness that I, Benjamin John Peel, do take thee, Katie Louise Wynn, do take thee, Katie Louise Wynn, I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Katie Louise Wynn, to witness that I, Katie Louise Wynn, to take thee, Benjamin John Peel, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, Katie. 
From the moment I met you, I knew my life was changed forever. Today I stand before you in front of our loved ones to promise you my unwavering love, support and devotion. I love you more than words can express and I'm end endlessly grateful to share this journey with you. Ben, I love you dearly. In you I found a partner in life, a lover, a friend, a safe place, someone I can be my real self and most vulnerable with. In you I found someone who supports me, who inspires me, who respects me and honours me. I hold you, hug you, love you. I give you this ring as a sign of my love for you. As a sign of my love for you. And as a symbol of my commitment to you. And our marriage throughout our lives together. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. And as a symbol of my commitment to you and our marriage. And as a symbol of my commitment to you and our marriage. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Welcome. There you go. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> ben and no, yeah, very. have both made declarations prescribed by law, and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends gathered here today. It is my privilege and indeed my pleasure to tell you now that you are lawfully married. Congratulations, Ben, would you like to kiss your beautiful I'd bride? I'd love to. <laughs> I love you. And now on to my beautiful wife, Katie. Stunning, wouldn't you all agree? Yes. And the dress, I knew the dress would be an eye opener. It's amazing, you look gorgeous, darling. <laughs> 23 years ago, we met, we met in a pub, The Feathers in Poplington. And as Katie said, I walked in, saw Katie in the corner and instantly the smile caught my eye and the guys I was with one of them actually knew her so I got her number and texted her and she saw her get her phone out and she said Ooh. <laughs> and she, she was all excited she knew someone in the pub had messaged her but she had no idea and I was sitting maybe three meters away to cut a long story short, we never, we didn't really leave each other's side after that, did we? The oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's probably something romantic like, you're fit. <laughs> something like that. I was quite young. I love everything about you, but most importantly, the thing I love most is that now I can call you my wife. I'm Katie's son and the guy who makes Ben look like a pillow. <laughs> ben is a very delightful guy. He always knows how to light up someone. He knows how to make someone laugh as well. Such as Mum. Mum, you have an enraging attraction to David Beckham. <laughs> and Jamie Redknapp. <laughs> When Ben finally met Kate, I knew something was different. Every day I'd come into work 
Anyone shut up? Not, not in a bad way. But you could see the bags under his eyes. He'd been on the phone all night. You could tell he'd had a great connection with this girl. <laughs> Clearly the relationship is, is really special with Ben and uh, Kate. And I couldn't be happy for her. They've got a wonderful family together and a great life. And today's all about cementing that. And uh, it's been an absolutely amazing day. I've loved to be a part of it. Um, you know, brought me to tears today. It's been absolutely fantastic. And thank you for making me your best man, mate. I've really appreciated that. <laughs>